has come! Shabar Orpheus! Shabar Orpheus! Shabar Orpheus! Vos, my most loyal friend. How good to set eyes on you. You honor me. Your radiance. A geish keeps you company. Unusual. An illithid in guise. An old ally in truth. He took this form so I might end the grand design. Skva! Can it be? Thanks to you, the skies above Tunarath shall tremble with sounds. Orpheus will take the truth to the people. We will slay the Lich Queen. Our chains will be cleaved. Mighty Foss, your words lift me. Vlaketh will splinter like glass and vanish like smoke. Shavar, Orpheus! My sword is yours. We will exterminate the brain and end its plague. This champion holds the key to its defeat. Stand by for orders, Vos. Answer to him as you would answer to me. As you wish, Prince Orpheus. Forward! The Netherbrain falls this day! Let it be the first victim in the war for the skies! Much already. And we will lose more before the day is out. But even when the last soul falls, Baldur's Gate will stand. For Baldur's Gate is more than just a city. It is more than a place of opportunity for those of mercantile spirit. More than a place of refuge for those who are lost. More than a home for friends, loved ones, and adventuring souls. Baldur's Gate is a place where anyone can find what they need if they're just willing to fight for it. Today, Baldur's Gate needs us. Today, we fight for... You're late, friend. This is the one you spoke of. The very same. The champion we've been waiting for. The one who will save Baldur's Gate from ruin. The fist eyes you with suspicion. He was not expecting the savior of Baldur's Gate to be a mind flayer. Appearances may change, but they do not mask the one within. This one, I know. Observe with whom it traveleth. Friends. This Mind Flare will fight with thee. It will save thy city and thy lives. The Fist's suspicion softens to curiosity, his hostility melting at the recognition that there's more behind those eyes than malice. My steel is yours, Mind Flayer, and I'm not alone. I have marshaled the best the Flaming Fist has to offer. We will fight to the last. The Moon Maiden's silver light is a shield in dark times. Today, it is mine to wield. And I hold her sword. Whatever strength I have to lend, I will lend it. Son, let us make our city proud again. I'm in the mood to crack some skulls after that fuckery in the Temple of Baal. The City Watch will be glad to oblige me. Not sure what I have to offer a mind flare, if I'm honest. But I hope my words of encouragement and reassurance will strengthen your uh, resolve. I want my city back. And I've brought the toughest bastards from the Guild to get the job done. I wouldn't miss this for all the souls in the city. Call my name. And I'll bring the hellfire. Nature's servant awaits. Glad to have you with us. And not a moment too soon. The air is thick with anticipation. All eyes.
eyes are on you. They're expecting a speech, something to stir their hearts and put fire in their bellies for the fight ahead. What will a mind flayer say that could encourage them on the threshold of battle? Uncertainty ripples through them. That a mind flayer could appeal to freedom is a confusing notion. To our freedom! We'll prepare ourselves. We'll be ready when you call upon us. Baldurin's grace be with you. and the screams of legions upon legions of unborn methods. The pain rips through you, obliterating all thought, all feeling. First time in a long time, your thoughts are entirely your own. And then, gravity.
Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this. Feel the tadpole. It's gone. We're free. I should feel relieved. Yet my blood still simmers. The parasite. It's withered. Dead along with the nether brain. I am cleansed. I will never be a filthy geek. Only mild offense intended, of course. You did the unthinkable. And I'm grateful for it. You are gay. By all accounts, I should hate the very sight of you. But I know the heart that beats within. It belongs to a warrior. I will ensure that all Githyanki know your name and your sacrifice. What you have done today will start a fire that rages across the astral plane. With their lost prince returned, my people will burn away Vlakith's corruption. And it is all thanks to you, the Illithid who defied a nether brain. As you wish, my savior. People are leaving, and I must leave with them. Come, Lazel. We will free the Githyanki and dismantle the Empire. Let them be imprisoned no longer. It will be done. I will never be free while my people are still bound by Vlakid's chains. Your will is strong, Rastil. Your name will be etched in our slates. You will be called Mlagir, Liberator. Orpheus, I am ready. Julius! Juthas! Farewell, Gestil, my liberator. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city, smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. You are a mind flayer, the very thing you sought to eradicate. Whatever self you possess is quickly ebbing away. Your friends and enemies alike are ripe for manipulation. And if not manipulation, then consumption. Soon you will not be able to trust yourself at all. You will be a monstrosity beyond redemption, or not. Perhaps you are unique among illithid kind, 
Perhaps you will retain enough of who you are to resist your nature, a rogue mind flayer. Like the Emperor, the risk is certainly yours to take. Will you? Your fate will be what you make of it. Now you are your own master, but it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Giontha. If I salvage the stones, I could retrieve it. Perhaps even wield it. With the crown in my hands, I would be unstoppable. I would be more than the greatest wizard who ever lived. I would be a god. Why should I? Mistra has dictated the terms of my potential for long enough. The crown would grant me control of my own destiny at last. Think of all I could achieve. All that I could grant to those whose ambitions are restrained by Mistra's yoke. I could raise a new Netheril, right here in Faerun. It seems that we've come to an impasse. I stand on the threshold of divine ascension, and you would try to keep me grounded. It's not your fault. I can hardly expect you to understand. But nor will I relinquish this chance because you're unwilling to imagine a world where I succeed. Ah, I will never forget you. That much I promise. And if one day you feel differently, I will be honored to have you as my chosen. I envy him. If we had dominated the brain, we would be greater than gods. Perhaps one day, the plains will quake as Mistra and Gale clash for control of the Weave. I would not bet against our wizard if it does come to pass. As it is, our future is uncertain, and we must face it without divinity, without our illithid powers, as mortals. So, what comes next? As long as you have no designs on my mind, I do not much care what your intentions are. I honestly don't mind what we do once we get to the... Ow! What the... Oh, no. Oh, God. Well, it was... It was nice when it lasted. Ah! I, I'm sorry. I, I have to go. I almost envy him. While he retreats into shadow, I prepare for my long exile on the surface. It's over. And it's all because of you. You who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. Well, now, your higher form has brought... <laughs> Same twisting alleys, but... Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing a... Honest... Refines... Just... 
Perhaps you might... Now, I must... In All this simia to speak is not... Weary Jahira. Over time, her stresses may have shrunk her hippocampus, making its taste more intense. You shall dine well tonight. Well met. I am a magical projection of Gale of Waterdeep. And if you see this manifestation, that means I have prematurely perished. Alas, on this occasion I appear to have been erased from this plane in both soul and substance. So the usual protocol for revivification cannot be followed. I am, however, Available for the duration of this spell to assist with the tying of any loose ends related to my recent departure from mortality. A sequence of elegantly designed failsafes to be executed in order to reverse the occurrence of my unexpected but impermanent demise. As I am unable to detect any trace of my existence in reach of mortal magic, however, such a protocol would, in this instance, be destined to fail. However, on behalf, retrieving the crown from the muddy floor of the Chionthar was surprisingly straightforward, if a little damp. I recall standing on the riverside, the icy chill of Netherese metal in my hands, and then... nothing. Gale of Waterdeep was gone. I have been entrusted with... With that... I'm afraid my spell is waning. To think I believe godhood was worth losing all this. Balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself, but for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready, for thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, problems worth solving. To you.
Thy faces, gods. Thy actions, barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be, yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel. Felled by mortals, I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin, away. Thou wilt trouble us no more.